Go! Hello and welcome to another Mario Party 6 minigame review. Up today is the 1 vs 3 minigame Ray of Fright. The single player is controlling laser beams that come out at both ends. The single player can rotate left or right, and then the lasers go off of the walls so they can go into different patterns. The single player is trying to get the team out, and the team is just trying to survive. This sounded like a pretty fun concept to a minigame to me. I mean, we always enjoy these survival minigames, and as a single player, it sounded a lot of fun to be able to try and kill everyone else. Yeah, this one sounded really enjoyable to play, but guess what? It's not. Like so many minigames in Mario Party 6, this takes a good concept, but just doesn't execute it well. I think the biggest problem is how hard it is for you to win if you're on the team. It's impossible! Well, at least we found it to be. Yeah, we'd never had a single round where the team won, and I don't even think we lost in more than 9 or 10 seconds. Yeah, it just wasn't really fun to play as the team. You're trying to dodge out of the laser beam, but when it hits the walls, you don't exactly know what direction it's going, and it goes so fast that you don't have time to really think about it. So you get hit before you even know to move, really. Yeah, if the laser bounced off the walls slower, I think this would be a lot more fair because you'd have time to think about where you should be. Or if there was only one laser instead of two, or if the team could jump over the laser. There's a lot of ways I think it could have been more fair. Oh, for sure. I feel like jumping would have really made this more fair. It might sound like the team would just be able to jump over the laser every time, but in reality, I don't think that's how it would be. You would still have to jump over the lasers while being aware of where other lasers are in your path and keeping an eye on everything going on. I think it's hectic enough where it still would have been a challenge for the team to win, but it wouldn't be a sure thing that the single player would win. Yeah, I agree. And playing as the single player wasn't even that fun either. Yeah, you got to try and get the other team out, but it was too easy. It just felt unfair when you were playing as a single player. There was the disadvantage that the laser had to charge up, so it wasn't instant when you pressed the button, but even that didn't really hold the single player back from winning. No, that really didn't do much to even the level on both sides. Overall, Ray of Fright is another minigame that we went in really excited to play and left not wanting to play again. The idea of having to dodge out of the way of lasers bouncing off the walls sounds really fun to me, and the idea of being the single player and trying to catch everyone on the team also sounds really appealing. This could have been a great 1 vs 3 minigame, but there's too many issues that hold it way back for us, namely being that it's pretty much impossible for the team to win in our experience. If there was something in this one making it easier for the team to win, and at least giving them a chance, I think we would have enjoyed it a lot more. But as it stands, we can only give this one two stars out of five. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this review, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. There's a lot of you out there watching that aren't subscribed. Please subscribe. Up next, we'll be reviewing Rocky Road. Ooh, I bet this one's about ice cream. I hope not. Rocky Road ice cream is the worst. But if you want to see what this minigame is like, come back for our next video. Hope, hope to see, see you then. then.